let's start the show today. First off, masks on. All right, all right. Second, if you can stay in your seat during the whole show. I know with kids, uh, things happen. So if you need to exit at any point during the show today, you can exit through the top doors right back there, right behind you, the big and green. If anything happens, go through those exit doors. Lastly, if we can clear this uh, bottom of moat right over here, it's for our safety and the animal safety and especially your safety. Other than that, are you guys excited? Woo! Amazing. Now, I gotta ask, how many of you guys like animals? Raise your hand. Oh, very nice. Do you like animals that crawl? And that uh, like crawly animals? Yeah. yeah. How about animals that fly? Like birds, flying like birds? Very nice. And how many of you guys like animals with paws or hooves? You have a puppy at home? Very nice, I have a puppy too. <laughs> well, we're gonna meet some amazing animals today who have been rescued, and that means they've been saved from danger. Can we all go, ooh. Ooh. But first, we're gonna meet some Sesame Street friends who are near and dear to our hearts. I hope you guys know them. One of them is a big furry red monster. Do we know his name? Shout it out. Yes, it's Elmo! Very good! The next one is a very pink, sweet fairy. Do we know it? That's right, it's Abby Kadabby. Alright, let's bring him up here. Drum roll, please! There you go, good drum roll, everybody. Get ready, because here they are! Elmo and Abby Kadabby! Let's go. 
Dancing Like Animals 2 is so fun. Way to go, you guys. Now, you guys want to meet those special animals I was talking about? Woo! All right, I'm going to introduce you to Carly and Jojo. They're part of the SeaWorld Rescue Team. Let's give them a round of applause and a drum roll, please. <laughs>
here a long, long time ago. She's now 52 years old. Really? Wow! Now, with monkeys this old, do you guys think they can give a check to the wild? Sadly, no. Neither of these monkeys know how to survive in the wild. That's why they have a safe home with us being animal ambassadors. Mm. You guys want to see something cool about a capuchin monkey? Yeah. All right, let's put up our hands. And what do we call this right here? monkeys be our help. See, almost every single monkey species is endangered in the wild. That means there's not many of them left. <laughs> That's why it's so important to help protect them and where they live. And our environment right here in California. All right, everybody, let's say goodbye to Maya and Hobo. ways we can protect the environment. <gasps> How about throwing away trash? Yeah, and putting it in garbage cans. Yes, that way the animals don't get into it and get hurt. Oh, and Elmer can recycle bottles and cans. And we can recycle paper. Yes, that's a clean environment. And a clean environment is a safe place for animals to live. birds, monkeys, as well as reptiles like Spike, this North American alligator. Wow! He's big! <laughs> and he's still growing. He's about six feet now, but one day he grew to be as long as a car. Uh, <laughs> That's really big! Definitely. Now, Spike here, he was rescued about 25 years ago. And you know where? Where? A bathtub. A bathtub? <laughs> That's right. So please don't have people in a bathtub. Now, police are trying to keep us safe, but only people are trained to deal with wild animals to do so. So they called us and we rescued him. That was an amazing ambassador of his time, showing people how cool alligators are. And you know, the North American alligator used to be in big, big trouble, but they aren't anymore. Wow. That's great. <laughs> in fact, the North American alligator was almost extinct. You guys know what extinct means, right? That's when there's none of them left on the planet. When the North American alligator was almost extinct, but people who cared about them, protected them, protected their homes, that was over 5 million alligators coming out of the wild. Wow, that's amazing! Definitely, that also means they're taking off the endangered species list. Oh, wonderful! Let's give them a round of applause! <laughs> I do love an environmental success story. Oh, so do we. Can we all say bye, Spy? No, you say, see you later, alligator. Oh. See you later, alligator. In a wild crocodile. In a wild crocodile. I don't like seeing and learning about all these animals, don't you? And learning about animal rescue heroes. That's right. Ooh, wow. look, guys, look at the crocodile. The only difference is 
since you caught here, he can't fly. Only Santa's right here can fly. He can, however, run really, really fast, especially when it's snack time. Speaking of, it is time for his snack now, so we are going to head up backstage. Let's say goodbye to you, Con. Bye. Bye. Guess what, everybody? We have one more special animal surprise. Oh, a surprise? What is it? It's a bird and a friend. Hmm, let's see, a bird friend. That's right, he's tall too. Eight feet two inches tall to be exact. Wait a minute. Is this bird yellow? And does he eat fancy milkshakes? He sure does. Hopefully returns to the wild if they can. Mm. Yeah. 